somebody that's in your ship, you know? Yeah, yeah. Wait, there was a cruiser that just showed up here that was not on Jippus. It was coming down the road opposite from where we came out. What if she went off duty to try and come find us? If that's the case, we got to get down to PD because you got to turn the car in, you know? I'm telling you, she had to have clocked off duty and try to come spy on us, bro. I'm telling you right now. Dude, Ruth, she's not on duty. You got to keep your head low, Cornwood. She's out to get us. I'm telling you right now, we are going to lose our fucking jobs if we... Wait, she ain't on, wait, she ain't she ain't on, on duty. duty. I, you know what? I, be, I beat her down here. She pulled in behind me. I told Dude. you, I seen the cruiser. Like, it took a left right before the, 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 the PD up there. But I guess by that time, she hid. And then you spit off and went down here. Okay, why is there... Oh, man. Hello, Cletus. How you doing? What happened this morning? What happened this morning? Jesus Christ. Here, hop, hop in the car. Actually, no. Let's go up to the Alamo. Blacking. Man, it's beautiful as hell out here. It's got a lot of potential. We could put like a little shop down here or like a little get some homes up here. I mean, this this place could be really, really nice. All right. So I'm going to talk to Slacks today because I need help. I want to bring up a couple things. As a captain, you're supposed to tell me what I did wrong. Correct. And then better myself and then get down. Right. I've been trying to ride with Captain Ruth for, I think, three or four days, and she has yet to say a word to me. She lets this shit piles up and then throws it in my face, right? Boom. I got my three daps. I'm not bitching about the three daps, okay? It happened. The first four is what I'm really bitching about. Yeah, I know the first four was two weeks ago, but like, it still rubbed me the wrong way as when I got dapped for doing a warrant apprehension without having a warrant when the captain told me to get adequate officers on the job and make sure that uh it she was on radio so i didn't get warned while she was on radio and then i still get that once again i didn't get talked about this during the situation i get dapped four points a week later so well, she, she basically entrapped you yes well i want to ask you right if you're in a position where you have people under you we look to you for direction and somebody comes uh, to you and lets you know that there's a situation that's happening up. and they fill you in on the entire operation and then you see something wrong now, what would you do if you see something wrong? Would you leave them to fall into that hole and then wait later to because get I, consequences? I, because I, I asked. Absolutely not. Them? Because because yeah. I asked if I can do it. Yeah, if there's something wrong, you got you got to tell them straight up. Like, hey, you know, do it this way, mm -hmm. or be wary of this, or be wary of that. You know, the, yep. if, it's, if it's something that's borderline. You know what she said? She said, make sure you have adequate units, and then sits on the radio due to the fact that it was ten, uh, it was about ten mics prior to the storm. We we apprehended the, uh, it was Nunel Nene. We apprehended her. It was 16 individuals there. I was like, okay, this is dangerous. I'm not going to ask for medical here. She was on the radio and said, be wary of the storm. I moved her to MRPD. Then she got treatment at MRPD because of the storm. And then I get dapped one point for not getting proper medical. Are you shitting me? No, I swear to God. So how many, how many dabs do you have? I have seven. Keyword, she said, be mindful of the storm on the radio where we're doing operation. I, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I think uh, Ruth has her her way of doing things. And there was a minute where maybe it ain't so bad. Maybe maybe she's got a good head on her shoulders, but she's trying to lay down the law, which, I, hell, I understand. You know, trying to drop them in the grease, kind of like what we, we do to the cadets. But maybe that's not the case. Maybe I just felt that way because I just ain't been around at the same time she's been around. I, just, right. I, I was just avoiding her. I'm, not I mean, on purpose. I'm, currently I'm, avoiding for, I'm, I'm definitely avoiding her for, on purpose. I want, like 1,000%. I am. Yeah. And I'm going to keep it 100 you know what's even crazier? So we find 46 kilos worth of marijuana on an individual. She no no raid no 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 even talk about no even talk of a raid no 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 nothing. Why? That's a good <laughs> question. Yeah, her explanation when I asked her was that the initial crime wasn't for the drugs. It was initially because he stabbed somebody. I said, well, okay, he still had all the drugs on him, though. No, it's 46 kilos. How, how much is that in pounds? I think that's like well, 80 that's pounds. That's half a Tijuana. Yeah, <laughs> 80 pounds on one person. When we're in our, like, late, you know how we operate. When we catch motherfuckers growing or we catch weed, it's like maybe like a kilo, two kilos. Apparently, it's pretty common for them to catch people with fucking like 40 kilos of fucking weed. And they don't pursue, they don't raid, they don't, I don't understand. The felony possession charge for marijuana, it's 100 grams. This person had over 420 times that. Yeah, why, why does he, why did he not get felony possession with intent to distribute? She is a captain, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be disrespectful whatsoever. Ever, but policing she cannot do that I, I can say it perfectly she cannot do that better myself okay because you charge somebody with just felony possession after 46 kilos i don't see that as good policing that is insane to me yeah i mean that's we've had people that we've charged more for far less that really got me thinking 
differently on how Captain Root sees things. This is why I'm going to talk to Cam Slice, Cam Turner, and I'm going to ask for a formal complaint because that is horrible. I just wish my superior would talk to me. And and because uh, what blew my mind is Cam Turner came to talk to me after wow. I got suspended. And uh, Cap Turner isn't he was he shift three? That's not even my captain. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're all our cap. But like at least like come on, like have some type of direct, you know what I'm saying, communication with somebody that's in your shift, you know? Wait, 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 wait. There was a cruiser that just showed up here that was not on Jippus. Are you sure? Just, yeah, 1,000%. Where did it go? I'm sure. I was, went, I was looking at it. 1,000%. Hold up. My tactical awareness is the best. Dude, that'd be amazing if she showed up, dude. If she went off, dude, to spy on us would be amazing. Are you sure, man? You ain't Brother, crazy. Brother, I'm not joking. Where did you see the car? I'm not joking. I shit you not. There was a cruiser here. It was coming down the road opposite from where we came out. I seen it and then I looked on GPS when I got in the car. There was no blips up here. And she's not on duty anymore. What if she went off duty to try and come find us? If that's the case, we got to get down to PD because you got to turn the car in, you know? I'm telling you, she had to have clocked off duty and try to come spy on us, bro. I'm telling you right now. This bash 7 yeah. 38 with try the to keep Grimes this spot North clear. North I think they want us to have it clear for some reason. Dude, Ruth, she's not on duty. Dude, that's so funny. I'm not fucking tripping, man. You have to believe me. Holy <laughs> man. shit. Holy what? shit. What the? Yep. That was, yep. It she, was her. She ain't on duty. You gotta she's be not shitting yet. me. You gotta keep your head low, Cornwood. She's out to get us. I'm telling you right now, we are going to lose our fucking jobs if we. Wait, she ain't on the. Wait, she, she ain't on oh, duty. No, no, not she is. Not she is. She's down the street. I, you know what? I, be, I beat her down here. She pulled in behind me. I'm telling you, she was. She. Yeah. The thing is, she probably because I told you I seen the cruiser. You turn like it took a left right before the the, the, the PD up there. But I guess by that time she hid and then you sped off and went down here. She. Okay, why is there? Oh man, what do you think she's gonna do if she finds out I'm trying to do a formal complaint against her? I mean, I'm gonna assume she gets that. No, I'm yes. talking about to me. To you? Why would you get fucked? Everything's in, in the scope the now. Class, to be honest with you, I learned what that word is. Scope. Uh, great shit. Great shit. Hey, we're moving. We're moving. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop talking Using about this. Using government equipment while not on the clock. That's felonies. On felony. On felony. Hope you all understand that, right? Is she 42? Do we know if she was off duty? She did not 42. I looked at dispatch. Are you I'm shocked? A, I am sh I'm shocked. I'm Why absolutely shocked. Why would she come up? Why? I'm so confused. God damn it, does she hate both of y'all? I'm, I'm like I'm IRL shocked. But we both have seven points. Who, who gave you your daps, Cornwood? Wait, you Ruth? You too? So, yeah. Who, get, so she gave me my daps. You both got daps? Uh -oh. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I know what's happening to me in a little bit. Yeah, yeah so you're both. next. Seven, seven, seven. That's a lucky number. I swear to God, if I get dapped on MLK Day, let's go. Let's see, he's getting the car. Radio check. It's so funny because I was like, hey, if you did see a cop car, they're going to turn it back in. We got back there right before. Had a cat. How you doing? I was wondering what I got to do to be an FTO. I mean, so, we're you know, the biggest thing about an FTO is you need to lead by example. You need to follow every rule by the book so that you can teach people the right way to do things. Right. You should be, you know, the rule, <laughs> not the exception as an FTO. What, what are you in blind? Officer Cornwood, how many dabs do you have? Seven. Do you think that speaks for itself? No. Actually, you know what? I, I think it does. You know why? Because I know what not to do better than any other person in this damn building. <laughs> Interesting. How bad would it be if we press charges on the country? I don't think we should press charges now. I mean, she, she is our superior. She can kind of stalk us. Do you think you're quick to pull out your weapon? Like when you're hopping out of a box? Hi, guy. Uh, if I need box? to, but... You talking about boxes? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, that was a I'm, bad time to I'm mention ready. a box. <laughs> Come to my office. This way. That makes sense. You know, I mean, it's already getting bad up there. I mean, hell, I... Okay. Yeah, I'm just in my food. Are you hiding? Hi. I'm scared. You know, I know it's the, the drama. What drama? You walked in and walked straight back right, out. There's drama. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, okay. Chat, I'm telling you, she's recruiting. All right, I gotta finish a couple things and then I get back out there. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, howdy, y'all. Hi, Zs. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, hey, good. How are you? <laughs> oh, no, that's 
That's so funny, dude. To talk about a court case. They were both in there the whole time. Right, give me a second to me. She's recruiting. I'm telling you right now, she's what? recruiting. For what? How? Where? They've came out. Come here, come here. Wait, what? Come to my, come to my office. <laughs> I'm telling y'all right now, she is recruiting. Viv came outside, she said, what's going on? I was like, what do you mean, what's going on? I like, well, you, you walked in, you walked out, and I want to know what's going on. Nothing's going on, Viv. And I walked away. <laughs> no, she's just talking about the information. Shit. I'm not leaving, nothing leaves this this circle right here. It's so good. These Disney Channel officers. I just don't fucking know, man. It's Ruth, Ruth is here. You okay, guys? Yeah, she's out. Shh, okay. Shut up, shut up. She's going to be watching me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. Did you know what's hilarious? If I get in the car and she's like sitting in the car. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, Cap. Oh, I just said glad to see you um, found your way out of the elevator. Yeah, you know that thing don't work? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Triple one, so uh, this is so good, dude. Captain's office, Captain's office. Uh, come 25 to the rooftop. Hey, for a minute, row. Aziz, come on, man. Andrews, you wanna you wanna go a flop for a minute? What happened now? I'm assuming Denzel Denzel wants me to meet him at the MRPD roof. I'm assuming he's talking to Slacks or something. Either that or he's gonna jump. So we gotta help him. I'm real scared of heights. Gentlemen, what would happen if I jumped? What the fuck? What the fuck do you mean? If, what would happen if you jump? Are you all right? What's the ma what's I'm asking bad? you. I'm asking you a well, question. You, you now. probably, why, why you, you, you probably, you that deep? you'll probably break your spine. You, uh, probably puncture your lungs. You'll probably uh, drown in your own blood, to be honest with you. You would 100% die. Right? That is common sense, right? In this police department, sometimes you're going to run into folks. Sometimes you don't see an eye eye to. Sometimes you, uh, you know, are do things a bit differently than other folks expect. Now, at right. times, you might get frustrated because you seem like, uh, well, you know what? Everything that I that I do, it seems like it backfires. Everything I do is wrong. You might feel like you're walking on eggshell sometimes because you're so scared to make a mistake because you're worried that it might cost you your job. It's not a good feeling to have. I don't want you to feel like I'm looking over your shoulder every single time you're doing police work. It shouldn't be that way. Hell, you're an officer. I should be able to trust you. Cam, there's got to be a, some type of line of respect for somebody before any type of conversation even start. When okay, you... how, about we start, how about we start with respect? You're right, okay? Do you not respect okay. the fact that you were suspended for 24 hours, bus? You guys are my superiors. Whatever you say goes. That's that's then the then way why, I roll, Cam. Why do I have a lawyer calling me about this then? Okay, Cam, the only thing I did not, it's not that I don't respect it. The only thing I, I, I wanted to talk to you about was the first four daps I got. Not even the three daps that I got this time. I asked Captain Ruth if I can go and apprehend this oh, individual. I remember this. I remember this. We talked she, about this. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. She blessed it off and said, make sure I have adequate units. I go apprehend. No one gets hurt. She was on radio with me because if it was wrong from the get go, Captain, I should have been told not to do it. Cap, no, no offense. She's, I mean, I, she's my superior. If I that ask you to do something and then you tell me, go ahead. That doesn't like that. What, like that doesn't make sense. I did everything to follow the, the, the chain of command, and then I got fucked. I, I don't see it that way, Shaxi, I'll be honest. I, I, you're mm. making it sound like you were perfect the whole entire time, and we have it out for you. No, no, it's no, not no, 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 you, you, you I, do I, not have I, it out I, for me, Captain. I don't think Captain Ruth has it out for you. I really mm. don't, okay? After what she, happened she today? might go harder on you compared to somebody else, but to say she has it out for you, I mean, you would have been fired by now. Captain, I got a question. Do you know what happened today with Captain Ruth? What happened? A lot happened. I think this conversation, we need to bring a couple more people who were involved with it too. But you I see the like... problem here with both of you though? You see the problem is it's like a tick for tap, right? And here's the issue. Drop that shit, man. Okay. Drop that shit. It's not, it's not that deep. Well, well, we're Captain, supposed to be a team, right? I had an issue. Yes, yes, we we're are supposed, supposed to be a team, a team right? And I don't want to see this fracture. We're too small to, uh, to suffer even a, a small fracture. You haven't let this talk right now. Oh, I, I, I want to hear this because I, I, I got to okay. bring this to my fellow captains, right? Whatever you sure. tell me, I got to bring this up because they need to hear about it as well, sure. right? Cam, today we were at Sandy. Cole was talking about his vision. Regular conversation. As we're leaving, there is a cruiser that takes a left on, I'm pretty sure it oh, was Panamera, uh, Panamera Drive. Mm -hmm. 
no blip i looked at the G gps in the car there was no blip we raced back down it was it was her she went up there to spy on us yeah she... but the thing, we're not we're not even why colluding would you, to... why would you think she's spying on you what were you doing up was... she went off duty. So, sorry she didn't 42 but she wasn't on duty captain and she was driving in a cruiser coming up and following us Are yeah this was there? uh at, a, at about at about 220 texas time i, I went and i double checked the motor pool and a matched her state id she pulled a vehicle out, went off duty, got back in the vehicle, drove up there uh, while we were going up there. And we, you know, we were just talking and, you know, we had plans for, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we, we had a island thing that we we're going mean, to, the thing that from yesterday that we were going to try and do. So we we're talking about that and we we're talking about some other things. And, you know, obviously we we're talking about the situation that, that just happened as well. So, so we had a number of things that we we're planning on doing today. And then uh, as we leave, Denzel sees the, uh, the cruiser. And I checked my radar. I'm like, there ain't nobody here. So is there a stolen cruiser? What's going on? So we rip it back down to MRPD, and then, uh, you know, I get down there, you know, obviously flawlessly, you know, my vehicle's in pristine condition. And then uh, I see a vehicle coming in, smoking damn near on fire, and I see Captain Ruth run out the vehicle on the phone and run inside. Why do you think a captain is spying y'all? Because, because she... I feel, look, Captain, Captain, listen, I feel like she thinks Cornwood is direct threat. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. <laughs> Come again? Well, I mean, I don't know about, I don't know about that. Listen. It's it, it, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Direct threat as far as what? I mean, Clint is a lovable it, it guy. Is. He's an officer. It, 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 lovable. He's a threat to everybody. <laughs> Listen, he wants the little Alamo <laughs> sheriff's like office. True. Okay, and she also has mentioned she wants the the, the Sandy Shores area. I feel like oh, she's trying to take him out, there. not take him out like kill him. You know, I'm you know, I yeah. mean, uh, but, but it's going back that to my point. Why same. we're thinking about the north when we got problems in the south? I, we were not even thinking about the up. north. It was just vi like, th th this is cool as aspirations. Well, we're talking about where we want to go. I want to be like, you know, a lieutenant, you know? And then Aziz like, I just want to be a sergeant and a lieutenant also. And mm -hmm. Cole was just telling us about little, the little Alamo Sheriff's Office. That's what the conversation was really about. My problem with the whole thing is we're thinking about, you know, little Texas and little Alamo when Los Santos Police Department can't even do the job here in the city, right? I, I think we need to crawl before we can walk. Right. Well, those steps will happen. They will. The future is coming, but we have to be living the present, not <laughs> think too much about the future as far as that. Well, and here's the thing, Slacks, you're, you're absolutely right. I believe she is not on the same page as what you just said. I mean, hell, I, I, I hate to say it. I, I don't really, I, I really want to have this conversation privately. Uh, I, I, think... I understand. I understand. Like I said, I'm going to have a conversation. We're, we're meeting all tomorrow, three captains. There's a lot of issues we talk about, a lot of communication problems to get things back on track. The last thing we need is damn people feeling like they got to look over their shoulder every single time they do everything, right? A thousand percent. And that's but, not police but, work. But that's how that's how it feels when we get out of there and we see somebody off duty, a cruiser off duty coming up to spy on us when we're we we weren't doing nothing wrong. I get that. I get that. Like I said, just um the vibes, how things are being perceived, there, there's a lot of um things we need to discuss and communicate. So on the same page. Like I said, I don't want to see any fraction. I, I want to see a fraction. I don't want to see people picking sides. I don't want people feeling like they can't do their job properly because they got a helicopter captain over their head. I get that. I totally get that. Like I said, I already told you, I'm just scared. One, two, I'm still going to do my police work, but I'm, I'm fucking... I pull somebody over, I'm, I'm looking at fucking commas in my reports, periods. Like, I don't know what the fuck else I'm going to get that for. I, I don't want this to turn into a whole thing. Let's go break off and let's... Patrol. Let's Absolutely. patrol. This will we blow by and we'll figure it out. This will be something <clears throat> behind us. And like I said, right now, we just need more cops. That should be the main focus. None of the bullshit, none of the drama, none of this unnecessary shit. We need to get stronger. I'll bring up these complaints to the captains. We're meeting tomorrow and we're going to hash out a lot of differences. So we're on the same page. I'm kind of I don't want you to bring it up, to be honest with you, because I, I do. But, 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 how is it going to get dressed? I don't know, because I feel like it's going to be like, oh, yeah, you want to go fucking tuck Cam slacks? Oh, I got something for that. What do you think happens and, 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 like, to I, me? I, I don't Everybody know. Can, people complain about me all the time behind my back. It happens to everybody. You're not going behind our back. You're following the chain of command. I'm bringing up some issues and frustrations of officers having. It is. It needs to be communicated. How else would they know? Captain, do you um, feel like this could potentially lead to a further fracture, though, right? Because if it leads if it to does, that's getting... poor leadership. If it does, that is poor leadership. Because yeah, but that is, you as a le hold on, hold on. Let me finish. You as a leader, you should both dish it and take it at the same time. Get wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna be washing dishes. I see your buns. If 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 you got, like, look, I'm sorry, Cam. I'm just stressed out. <laughs> Yeah, you're, Dan, it'll be okay. I appreciate, I, I I know appreciate it's you hearing me out. You, you too, Cornwood. Thank you so much. Aziz. I appreciate Thank all you. of you. Guys, you guys do a lot of work as far as the PD, a lot of hours. You, you blood and sweat and tears. And it's not being overlooked. I can promise you that. Oh, by the way, I want to talk to you about uh, getting FTO certified. We can talk about that Ab later. Absolutely. You're going to make a great officer one day as an FTO, Cletus. Okay. Wait, what do you mean? He's just saying the same thing. He's doing a, he's doing a bit. 
Oh. All right, good work today, fellas. To let rust out for the simpler city life. But all he found was a crown filled land of strife.